Super Bowl 35 featured two of pro football's brightest head coaches, who also happened to be good friends. Brian Billick of the Ravens and Jim Fossil of the Giants. That'd be good. Get a ball right in the chin. Huh? Get a ball right in the chin. What are we going to dress the same or something? Well, well, our wives had the coordinates. I know. How you doing? So, it's been great. It's been, it's been great. good, man. I'm, I, you know what? I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. And there's something else, but I'll tell you what. If I'm going to go against anybody, I respect the Chiefs. Absolutely. Stay healthy, man. We'll hook up when it's done. Jim may be a better coach, but I'm a hell of a lot better looking than he is, all right? Yeah. Plus you signed the check now. Well, like the line, <laughs> How cool is this? You guys are paying me for this? Oh, it's easy. How you feel? like a kid, man. Yeah, it's like I've been like this for the last month. No one was more excited than Ravens quarterback Trent Dilfer. One year earlier, he was run out of Tampa, cast as the scapegoat for the Buccaneers' lack of success. Now, at the site of his greatest disappointment, Dilfer was only one win away from every quarterback's dream leading his team to victory in the greatest show on turf. A high end over end kick. Cover him, cover him, cover him. He's straight line, he's straight line. Yeah! Back tell Kerry to remind him out there now. They're going to attack our ass. He's going to get it out of there. They got to play quick, come off the ball. From the start, Ray Lewis and the Ravens defense dictated that Super Bowl 35 would be played hard and fast. Hey, play quick with him. Play quick. They don't know how fast we are. They don't know. It didn't take New York long to learn as Carrie Collins was sacked and constantly pressured by an aggressive Ravens defense that nearly forced a giant mistake. Pass back. Oh, get the ball. Oh, oh, oh. And it's deflected, and the ball is loose. And I don't know if it went into a Giants' hands. It's ruled incomplete. Here we go. Here we go. We're good. In a first quarter tug of war for field position, Baltimore capitalized first. Still in great field position, man. We have got to take advantage of this. Back to throw Trent Dilfer. Throwing deep down the middle for Stokely. He's got it. Come on, Brandon! Come on, Brandon! Brandon Stokely passed the ball. Brandon, Brandon! Touchdown, Baltimore. Whoa. What a pass. Dilfer threw right down the middle. He hadn't thrown one here in Tampa Bay ever like that. That pass was gorgeous. Nice call. Nice call. Yeah! Trent Dilfer's eyes took safety Sean Williams to tight end Shannon Sharp's side. And before Williams could recover, Jason Seahorn was singled up and beaten by slot receiver Brandon Stokely. A perfectly lofted pass to the seldom used Stokely put the Ravens up by seven. The first quarter came to an end with Trent Dilfer riding high in the city where his career began. Hey, so much for being conservative coming out, huh? Uh -huh. So much for being conservative. They come out gunning it. I know that. Don't forget your empty package talked about as far as a change-up for him, you know, to break these guys' rhythm. That's the hardest thing right now, you know, is to just to find some chink in the armor, you know, where we could kind of... Because right now, they're playing like they do. They just, they're on the attack everywhere. What I'm seeing them right now, I mean, they're just dropping zone like they did before. They sit there, watch it, throw underneath, they come up and knock the out of you. The tone for the second quarter was set on its first play. In the middle, incomplete, a big hit. Boy, Ike Hilliard took a shot. Hilliard says, what was that truck number? Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, he'll think twice about going in there again. Baltimore's defense seemed to anticipate the path of nearly every throw. I'll tell you what, those linebackers, that's a spot drop, they're just going back and watching you. I'm watching those guys with you. They go back, and the minute you look this way, they're moving that way. If you sprint, they're moving. They're just watching you and moving with you. Pass! Pick, pick, pick. Back to throw Collins. Time in the pocket. Throws. Knocked in the air and intercepted. Sharper's got it up to the 47-yard line. Ray Lewis made the play. He deflected it up in the air, and Jamie Sharper picked it up. What athleticism he has. I mean to tell you, it is unbelievable. Ray Lewis leaps into the air on that one, knocks it up. Damn it! Yeah! 
telling you now, he's going to make a mistake, and we're going to score on defense. Hey, here we go, D. Here we go. I'm going to turn over. Let's go. The Giants' defense looked to create its own opportunities. Back under pressure. Let's it go. And it's intercepted on the near sideline. Intercepted by the on the field. Jesse Olsted's got it to the team. By number 98, Jesse Armstead. There is a flag. No, he's going to call it back. He's going to call it back. What's the penalty? He's going to call holding on us. The holding penalty went against number 75 defensive tackle Keith Hamilton. Hamilton was called for grabbing the arm of running back Jamal Lewis, who was the intended receiver on the play. That's a terrible call. The guy's behind, he's blocking him, he doesn't know. The guy's blocking him. Hey, get back. You know what? The guy's trying to block him. Okay, we can grab him. I understand what he's trying to do, but he can't grab him. Well, I'm going to tell you what, man. You missed that call, you're going to cost us a Super Bowl. That took seven points off the board. Hey, let's keep hitting him, man. Let's go. While the Giants kept attacking, they also remain vulnerable to the big play. All we got is verticals. They haven't covered a vertical yet. It's the only thing we got going. Dilfer back to throw. He's throwing deep upfield for Ismael. Conley's got it. 50 40. And he's tackled. A saving tackle. He's down at the 35. Dave Thomas just got him by the ankle, or he was gone. Cadre Ishmael's 44 yard reception set up a Matt Stover 47 yard field goal attempt. This could be huge, man. Come on, Matthew. Damn Pro Bowl kicker. From the left hash, the snap, the spot, the kick is up. Plenty of leg. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. He nailed it. That's big, man. That's big. Matt Stover yeah. gives the Ravens a little cushion, and he makes it a 10 0 lead. We got a lot of football to play. With less than two minutes remaining in the half, Tiki Barber raced 27 yards for the Giants' longest play from scrimmage. That put New York in position for a critical score before intermission. Got to have a turnover. Got to have a turnover. He's going to throw us one. But in a half where one quarterback played mistake-free, the other continued to self-destruct. Back to throw, pump fake, throwing deep down the middle, and it is picked up. Pumped it, too much air under it, and the Giants squander a golden opportunity. And the best defense in the business is showing the world why. Right, hey, 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 hey. Against Baltimore's suffocating defense, the Ravens' 10 to nothing halftime lead seemed almost insurmountable. Dominated by the Baltimore Ravens, the New York Giants desperately needed a spark. The Giants' defense focused its attack on the Ravens' quarterback, and Big Blue turned Trent Dilfer black and blue. Dilfer broke a finger on his non-throwing hand. That's a strong man. When they hit you, it hurts. Your quarterback's got a broken hand. He can't be on his back. Right? The Giants offense couldn't get off its back as Baltimore's rush Harry Giants quarterback Kerry Collins. Throw it. Throw it away. Come on, D, do what you do best. What they do best is stop opponents cold, then force mistakes. Plenty of time, throws over the middle, it's picked up, Kim Harry's got it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Field goal, Matt, anything will do. Not a good play, not at all by Collins. Harry read that, read his read just perfectly. He kept looking at the quarterback. Bang, he stepped in front of him and picked up his first interception tonight, the third by the Ravens on defense. Baltimore's defense was clearly dominating New York's offense. And midway through the third quarter, the pressure began to break Big Blue. They're panicking. They're panicking now. Come on, get a pick and run it back. Slant over the middle. Collins 
Mahomes has tied a Super Bowl record, throwing his fourth interception of the ball game. Baltimore now owned a commanding 17 to nothing lead. We're not done. Hey, now listen. All we got to do is settle down and make plays, man. Hey, we've got to make up our mind to go out and relax, play quick, stay after. Don't lose your confidence. Get the rhythm going that we came out here with. Come on, cover for your life, baby. Cover for your life. Just find somebody. Find somebody to hit. The interception return for a touchdown was only the beginning of the most amazing 36 seconds in Super Bowl history. Bombing kick, Dixon will range back Dixon. to his own three. Dixon to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40. There goes Ron Dixon. Ron Dixon's going to go. No one's going to catch him. Ron Dixon. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, 97 yards for Ron Dixon. And maybe the Giants do have a life with 3.31 to go in the third. Nineteen seconds after being down 17 points, Ron Dixon's 97-yard kickoff return helped the Giants cut the deficit to 10. With nearly four minutes remaining in the third quarter, the Giants finally had some hope. But it would be short-lived. Hey, hey, great coverage. Keep your composure now, everybody. We'll get the ball back. We're going to score a couple more times. Let's go. Hey, 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 now. Now, you know why on that last kickoff? Keep your head in the game. You're back here dicking around big time. That's your problem, Brad. You've got so much potential. If you'll just stay focused for 60 minutes, you can do that when you're a world champion. Focus. Now you make a play here, okay? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, J. Lou. Get one. Make history, J. Lou. Suddenly the Giant fans up making noise. They got some life. Dale Oiso, good foot into this one. Or kicked it full, not real good, though. 16 yard line, Jermaine Lewis, 25 30. Jay Lou kicks it outside. He's at the 40, 45. He's at midfield, down the far sideline. Still on his feet. He's going all the way. All right. Jermaine Lewis goes all the way. Oh, my God. 84 yards, Tom. Back to back. Kickoff return. Back to back to back. Three scores in a row. Jay Lou. as he got momentum right back on Baltimore's side. And the Ravens now on top 24-7. Doesn't look too good for the Big Blue. For the first time in Super Bowl history, back-to-back -back kickoffs were returned for scores. And in a span of just 36 seconds, three touchdowns were scored. Jermaine Lewis's return all but sealed New York's fate. Come on, come on, Jermaine. You need to return it. You return it. And head coach Brian Billick knew it as he watched the 84-yard return develop. Yeah! 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 Back to back! Yeah! <laughs> ah, I'm getting too old for this. The whole world was watching, and trailing 24 to 7, what everyone saw was a Giants team in shock. With a quarter remaining in Super Bowl 35, Jim Fossil's biggest challenge was to refocus the fight in his demoralized team. Hey, I love your toughness. I love your toughness and I love your hustle. Hey, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jack, come here. Jack, come here. Come here, now listen. Let, let, let me tell you something. Okay, now you gotta get him to composure. I just told the offense. We all gotta grab a composure. That's what we're gonna get this. It's not gonna be with some fighting. I want that stopped, okay? Right, coach. Now you better do it for me. Yes, sir. Gain, gain your composure. Focus on them. Forget about the damn fighting. All right. Leave that alone. You got a job to do. Stay away from the rest of it. But I don't care what they do to you. Life is full of a lot of people doing stuff to you, and you gotta walk away. Yes, sir. Okay? All right. Across the field, Ravens head coach Brian Billick faced a completely different challenge. 
Jeff, keep him backed up. Keep him backed up, Jeff. I got better things to do than back people up. The anxious Ravens were now only 15 minutes from a world championship. That zipper, the three vertical. Guys on their own eight out of the gun. Collins steps up, now scrambling. Hit from behind, fumble, ball is loose. Oh, get the ball, get the ball. On New York's first possession of the fourth quarter, Baltimore just missed its fifth takeaway. Just jump on it. The Giants never could mount a comeback because Super Bowl MVP Ray Lewis and the Ravens proved they truly were one of the NFL's greatest defenses. You get a touchdown, men, you're world champions. Field goal, maybe. Baltimore proved their coach a prophet. On a short field provided by the defense, the Ravens drove 38 yards on their first possession of the fourth quarter. And a baby bend! All right, field goal's huge, man. Field goal's huge. A touchdown would be even bigger, and rookie running back Jamal Lewis carried the Ravens to the two-yard line. Have it in. First and goal. See you. For Baltimore. Just a drop left close. Zeke on the top. The Ravens. Right on the doorstep of putting this one away with a 24-7 lead. Pitch out. Jamal Lewis trying to circle the left side. Head down. Hit. Dive. Lost the football in the end zone. But it was he a touchdown? Yes, he was. Hey, challenge it. Challenge it. Challenge it. Challenge it. Challenge it. Challenge it. The touchdown run by Lewis was a close call. I don't know how they can call that a touchdown. I don't think he ever got to the final. He just flipped the ball out. He did not have possession when that ball crossed the line of scrimmage. Or when it crossed the goal line, he did not have possession. I don't know if that ball ever broke the plane. Now, hopefully, with all of the cameras that are here for the Super Bowl, they have a camera on the goal line. 67 cameras, I understand. The Giants' last bit of hope was lost when replays failed to produce enough evidence to change the call. Put your hands up! Yeah, they're, they're done. Come on, finish strong now! Finish like a champion! Just when the Giants thought it couldn't get any worse, Ron Dixon, the man responsible for New York's points, also produced the fifth and final Giants turnover of Super Bowl 35. From behind fumble, and the Ravens have the football. He fumbled at the 35 yard line. Number 35, Robert Bailey forced, then recovered the fumble. The Giants had been slammed. Tommy got hit hard from behind and cocked it up. Just run it, kick the field goal. Run it, kick the field goal. After becoming the first rookie to rush for a touchdown in a Super Bowl since 1988, Jamal Lewis finished with 102 yards rushing. That's the way to go! Matt Stover's 34-yard field goal completed a 34-7 world championship victory. That Ravens sideline is ready to explode. I guess we can't score no point, huh? No. That's what happens when you look at one game instead of the previous 17. Thank you. They're all farts and giggles over the Minnesota game. But I think we scored five more points than they did in the regular season. Something like that. Oh. That makes too much sense, though. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The most valuable player for Super Bowl 35 for the Baltimore Ravens, Ray Lewis. World champs, bro. <laughs> World champs, bro. I want you to go empty out all the water containers. No, you better. <laughs> Andrew, you better Andrew what's in it for who's me? in charge here? What's in it for me? Wait, what's what's in it for you? If I get water thrown on me, you're fired. Oh, no. Well, you know you're going to get it today. If they get me, they're going to have to get a moving target. I ain't moving. Oh, you'll cover my backside, won't you? It's too cold. I want to stay dry. Nice job. Nice job. Nice I did job. make it. Nice <laughs> nice <job>. Now <laughs> we did it. <laughs> For the New York Giants, a great season ended on a bad day. I'm living to fight another day. Yeah. You had a great season, man. I'm proud of you. The Ravens and Giants have finished Super Bowl 35 in a most dominant performance. The Baltimore Ravens end the season on an 11-game winning streak.
And they win the Super Bowl and the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And the Ravens are the champions of the world. Few teams have ever gazed upon the Vince Lombardi Trophy quite like the Baltimore Ravens. They were only the third wild card team to win a Super Bowl. An old fashioned team that proved in an era of high tech offense and sophistication, championships are still won with an unbreakable defense and an unbending will. Great job. Hey, what? Hell of a day. How about the old man, huh? Yeah. Long time in coming. 40 years, right? This is what all starts. We got nothing but class people in this organization. It always starts at the top. It doesn't just happen. It starts at the top, the kind of people you surround yourself. Now you're all world champions. Huh, boss? I can't tell you how proud I am of this organization. Let's forget the front office. The head coach, the staff, the players, the trainers, everybody. You've, you, you've done me proud, and I'll never forget it. I thank you. Oh, yeah.